there's physical things I can touch. We see that even that is weird. We never actually touch anything. <laughs> Uh, what is the sense of touch? What's happening from a sort of a scientific standpoint? You know, why physics says you can never actually touch anything. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, it's all got to do with atoms and electromagnetically charged particles, right? So we know that behind, we suspect that, <laughs> that there's some kind of a science behind when I touch something, how come it seems solid and it's I mean, if this is all in my mind, from a Buddhist standpoint, if this is all in my mind, how come I can touch it? You know, um, it's dream fingers touching dream hands with a dream sensation. Um, we know that under the hood, it's all this fancy schmancy science and equations. And somehow at the center of it all is E equals MC squared and the atom and the law of three, positive, negative, and neutral. We've got the proton, which is positively charged the neutron, which is neutral, and the electrons, which are negative. Positive, neutral, negative. Little magnets spinning around. We know that this negative charge of the electrons are being drawn towards the oppositely charged proton, like two opposite poles of a magnet want to stick together. But there is a repelling force coming from this nucleus that is sort of poorly understood. The closer the electron gets to snapping together with the proton, the faster it starts to spin. And it ends up with a stable configuration of spinning, which is centrifugal force, balancing the attractive force between them, and that becomes a stable atom. However, when the compounds that make my skin and my cells and my fingertips are formed of atoms, and atoms have these spinning electrons with a negative charge, and I want to go and touch something like this phone, and I go to touch this phone, it seems solid because the atoms in the phone also have a negative charge, and the two negatives are repelling each other like two same pole magnets repel each other. From an atomic world, it's not possible for the electron and the proton to ever touch. If you start forcing the issue, which is what fusion is all about, fusion reactors, that's what they're trying to do, they're putting huge amounts of pressure that are putting the squeeze on the atom. And the electrons and the protons are being forced to get closer and closer and closer. And that becomes an explosive force of energy. So in reality, when I go to touch something here, and basically all the atoms, and the trillions of atoms at my fingertips and the trillions of atoms that make this are repelling each other. And I put more and more pressure, more and more pressure. It's putting the squeeze on the atoms and they have a huge amount of force of resistance, then things appear to be solid. That's how that works. Uh, it's an illusion of solidity. Uh, this is a little blurry, but it's the best I could do. Science tells us that everything we can see and touch is composed of unimaginably small building blocks called particles. Our bodies are made of them too, which means that on a micro scale, our bodies behave quantum mechanically. We've covered this in great detail. 99% <laughs> of the atom is space. Atoms have a nucleus where most of the mass is, with the electrons buzzing around on the outside. No matter how hard they try, two electrons can never touch. They just hover about 10 to the minus 8th meters above each other. In physicals, particles are partly attracted or repulsed by other particles based on their charge. Electrons are attracted to protons, but are repulsed by other electrons. Sensation of touch is arguably a grand illusion created by the brain's way of interpreting interactions between our electrons and the electromagnetic field. The brain's interpretation of electromagnetic interactions where like charges repel our sense of touch. And so we refine that, we pay more attention to that, we refine that sense of touch and all of a sudden we can feel the electromagnetic fields in general coming off the body. That's, that's the uh, sensitivity of being able to feel these energy fields. Underneath the hood, we all also know that it's much more profound and mysterious than that. Convergent and divergent electromagnetic mass energy momenta interactions is what touch is. Which means as soon as we have atoms and we've got protons, electrons, and neutrons, we have the quantum field. And we've got dark matter and dark energy and cosmic electromagnetic fields in action underlying the simplest thing that we can touch. 
it breaks open the entire magnificent cosmic field itself, which is essentially what this touch is, is repelling of quantum values of the convergent drawn together and divergent repelled apart electromagnetic mass energy momenta interactions. That's us and the universe with the sense of touch. Touching the heart and soul of the universe with your mind it doesn't have to be your fingertips. You can touch things with your thought. I can touch you in this conversation. We're touching each other all the time through all this series of uh, live streams that we've been doing. We are touching each other's consciousness through paying attention to what we're discussing here and then touching each other's consciousness in a scientifically aligned way when we do the uh, brainwave entrainment soundtrack with headphones at the end. We are touching one another's consciousness and aligning those consciousnesses together in a very precise way. Touching the, quote, untouchable. Interacting with the cosmos in a new conscious way of touching. Touching amorphous vibrational fields that you can't see or smell or hear in any other way. Your consciousness residing here. Pinpoint accuracy in the tips of your fingers. And what we're touching, it's information 